A basketball coach faces battery charges for punching a 17-year-old female player. Fishers police say it happened yesterday at the Indiana Fieldhouse Sports Complex. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live in Fishers with what witnesses say sparked this reaction. Ebony? Erica, this girls' basketball team came from Wisconsin here to Fishers to take part in this tournament, which is currently being held here. According to police, their only chaperone was their coach. So once he was arrested Monday for battery, their parents had to come from Wisconsin to pick them up. While parents watched their daughters hoop it up. Woo, keep working. It's what some saw and others heard happened off the court that troubles them. I've never seen anything like this happen before, so it's upsetting. Everybody's usually really friendly and gets along, you know, fine at the tournaments. So I was shocked. Monday, Fisher's police arrested Fred Freeman, the coach of the Wisconsin Steelers, a high school age girls basketball team. Authorities say after a loss, Freeman assaulted a 17 year old player. It's still unfathomed that a, a, an adult would hit a child, especially a 17 year old, in, in a chaperone's position. That's a very, un very unfortunate thing. This is where the altercation happened. This is where the 17 year old says Coach Freeman threw her down and punched her as his daughter looked on and asked him to stop. Witnesses tell police Freeman grabbed the girl who was arguing with his daughter, who also happens to play on the team. A witness says Freeman slammed the teen to the ground before punching her. He shouldn't have touched her at all. No one should lay a hand on a kid. At all. Other parents who wouldn't go on camera tell us around the tournament circuit Freeman is known as a hothead. He should, he should be barred. No more coaching. Shouldn't even be around the children if you're going to do that. Freeman says the teen assaulted him first, but a witness told a different story. With their coach at the Hamilton County Jail, the players who came to Indiana for a tournament had to wait at the police department for their parents to drive in from Wisconsin to pick them up. Police tell us early this morning a judge released Freeman and he did not have to pay the initially set $5,000 bond. And so far, a judge has not set a court date in this case. Reporting live in Fishers, Ebony Monet. Back to you, Erica. All right. Thank you, Ebony.